Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Love of Fishing podcast. I'm your host, Lyle Gator, and today I've got a hot take for you. Now, hot takes are not something I often do, but I'm starting to think that they might be a good idea. We've got some very interesting news coming from Ontario Fish and Wildlife today, and they have posted on their social media that they are seeking input on potential revisions to release practices for fish uh, for recreational fishing. So what this means is the current policies about catch and release fishing, what's allowed, what's not allowed, can you take a photo with an out-of-season fish, this kind of thing. And this is huge. This has so many spin-offs for sport fishing in Ontario, and I wanted to break it down and give you my thoughts uh, before this gets, uh, you know, out there for too long. I want to give you my, my honest first take. Uh, hopefully this provides some clarity on what I think they're going after, uh, how you might want to consider it, and then, of course, encouraging you to give feedback. They're asking for feedback, and they have a link for a survey, which I will include in the description below. We're going to start off by reading this uh, little ditty that they've done here. Uh, release of fish. Catch and release fishing is popular with recreational anglers in Ontario and is important to both fisheries management and the angling experience. Anglers and stakeholders have told us that being able to hold a fish long enough to take a picture and measure the length and weight of their catch is important. Currently under the Ontario Fishery Regulations 2007, anglers are required to immediately release any fish where retention or possession is prohibited. If the fish is alive, it must be released in a manner that causes the least harm. Okay, so I'm going to break that down. What this is saying is that if you are not allowed to possess the fish, if you're not allowed to keep it, you cannot take a photo and release it. I think we're all pretty familiar with this. It's basically like when the lake trout are running in the fall and people take pictures with them and then you see the guys in the comments saying, that fish is out of season, man, no pictures. And then people are like, oh, well, I, I still released it, but like, you know, that I didn't keep it. And then people are like, no, the rule says immediate release. And that is what the rule says. It says you must release this fish immediately. Let's keep going. There are many reasons why retaining or possessing a fish might be prohibited, including fish was, that's some bad wording on their part, caught out of season, over daily or catch possession limits, a restricted size, improperly hooked, such as snagged. So actually, reading it this way, a restricted size, let's say you had a slot size on a lake. Let's say it was 16 to 20 inches for walleye. And you caught a 32-inch walleye, biggest walleye you've ever caught. Maybe the biggest one you'll ever catch, but it's outside of the keepable size range. you got to throw it back without taking a picture. That's how this law reads. Okay, so based on the law and the way it's currently written, any activities that delay the release of the fish, such as posing for photographs, measuring, and weighing are against the rules. That's what I just said. While the current law allows us to effectively enforce seasons, catch and size restrictions, it is also a barrier to some fishing activities, including Number one, catch photo release tournaments. Fisheries management tools, such as community science programs. Enjoying angling experiences by photographing catches. I'm just going to say it right here. What they're saying here is that they're acknowledging that there is so much that we can do to get people into fishing to encourage better practices when it comes to the culture of what fishing is, the culture of tournaments, by allowing for catch photo release in seasons where you can't keep the fish, but you do a catch and release season where you can take a photo. Oh my goodness, what does this do? This does so many good things, for my opinion. As someone who's fished the New York side for bass, you guys that fish the New York side for bass, you know it's so much fun. We go out there in April, May, catch these fish, they're pre-spawn. We're not fishing beds, pre-spawn fish. Technically, you can keep fish over 20 inches if you want, if it's, if it's a trophy that you're going to get mounted, I guess some people might want to do that, but you can still fish for bass. You can still take a photo with that monster bass, but you got to let it go. And I, I think that's fantastic. This is so good to see. Let's keep reading. Proposed changes. 
We are proposing changes that would, one, allow anglers to delay the release of a fish caught during the open season for that species, only long enough to photograph, measure, and weigh if the fish is of a restricted size or over daily catch and possession limits. Two, require the immediate release of fish that are out of season, are species at risk, or are otherwise prohibited under the existing recreational fishing rules. The purpose of the proposed changes is to improve the overall angling experience in Ontario by providing clarity to anglers on how they can document their catch and experience, providing opportunities to improve fisheries management, making community science programs more accessible, allowing catch photo release style competitive fishing events. We have engaged science experts to help us understand the risks of catch and release fishing and the proposed changes. The changes proposed are believed to be relatively low risk to both individual fish and fish populations. Wow, that is awesome. I, I think this is so good. When they talk about providing clarity on how they can document their catch and experience, this this is something that like, I think we gotta get past. I know that fishermen fish to catch fish, you know, to show their friends and family. It's it's boastful. It's it's awesome. Like, there's nothing better than catching a big fish and telling people about it. I get it. But why don't we take the fish out of it in terms of retaining it and needing to show people and needing to kill it? We, we've got to boost up the catch and release, the catch photo release aspect. This is This is where things are going for sure. And as far as the proposed changes go, allow anglers to delay the release of a fish caught during the open season for that species, only long enough to photograph, measure, and weigh if the fish is of a restricted size or over daily catch and possession limits. I think what they're getting at here, when they say allow anglers to delay the release of a fish caught during the open season for that species, I think what they're, what they're priming for is to start catch and release seasons where you can catch photo release, you just can't retain. I think that's what what's happening here. I hope that's what's happening here. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but man, that is, that is just so good to see. I think in Ontario, we really have to change the culture away from keeping fish, especially from a tournament perspective. If this comes into play and this gets moved forward, what this does for catch photo release tournaments, it's just gonna be so great. And I I really, I'm just so happy to see this. We don't see a lot of change here in Ontario. Honestly, we we really don't. Things have changed. You know, we understand fish better. The fish science is out there. We've got the technology. It's time to put it into play. This is such great news. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this hot take on the Love of Fishing podcast. I hope that you enjoyed. Please follow the link that I have in the description here and make sure you submit your feedback if you are an angler in Ontario. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to get outside and go fishing. Peace.